Hi, I'm Kimberly Davis and I'm the Fiscal Feminist. And I'm here at the lovely South Coast Plaza in Orange County, which is a very beautiful shopping mall for those of you that are not familiar with it. Um, so I decided to come out today to do a little shopping and a little comparison shopping. And shoes are my passion, like most women. That, I hope that isn't considered a sexist comment. but. Um, <laughs> I love shoes and that's the one thing for me that it's often very hard for me to resist buying. So I've walked into Nordstrom here in South Coast Plaza, like I said, and the first thing I see is of course some Gucci loafers. I mean, come on, who doesn't love some Gucci loafers? I love Gucci loafers. I mean, I've always wanted to get a pair, but they're expensive. So I'm kind of feeling these. Love these shoes, right? Okay. They're $695, right? Like, so that's a chunk of change, right? That's a lot of money. Um, and they're shoes, so guess what's gonna happen? They're gonna get wet, they're gonna get scuffed, they're gonna get dirty, and probably in about six months time, they're probably gonna look a little worse for the wear. And I guess what I'm saying is, if I have the $695 and buying the shoes isn't going to impact my life in any great way and I'm still going to be able to pay my bills, have my emergency fund, not tap into my savings to do it, then great, I'll buy the shoes and I can walk out and know that I paid for them and I'm not going to be paying for them over the next four or five months while they're getting messed up, only to have a pair of messed up shoes after I've paid them all off. So, my point is this, everybody loves a good pair of designer shoes or a good designer handbag. But in order to do that, you need to do it in a way that makes sense. So you set up some sort of shopping account that you put money into on a regular basis that really uh, addresses the needs that you have. Because the problem is, if you buy these shoes and put it on your credit card, inevitably you're not going to deny yourself something else later and not buy that thing. And so slowly but surely, your credit card bill is going to get out of control. And before you know it, you're going to have like $5,000 on your credit card. So. I don't want that to happen to you because to dig out of that is a long, long-term commitment. And if any emergency occurs in your life with that big debt sitting there, it's all going to spiral very quickly. So as much as I love these Gucci shoes, I'm going to look for an alternative that makes sense for me in my budget. So follow me, ladies, and I'll show you what I'm thinking. just have to stop here for a minute because I am a huge fan of Vanola Blahnik, at least in the magazines, and love these shoes. Also love these shoes, kind of sophisticated tap shoes, but I love them. And I love to wear them, but $745, maybe in a few months. Follow me, ladies. I'll show you some tips. No, no, I know. I can buy a pair of these loafers, and okay, I grant you, they're not Gucci, but they look pretty darn good. They're nice leather, and I can get these for 120 bucks. So I could maybe buy two pairs of these if I want. But more importantly, I know that when I buy them, I own them. I'm not paying interest on them so that they're gonna end up costing me instead of the $695 if I pay cash or put it on my debit card. If I put it on my credit card and I don't pay it for like six months, it's gonna end up costing me like $1,000 for those shoes, which is ridiculous. So all I'm saying is there are alternatives there's something in between the $695 and the $120, and depending on your budget, you should pick the one that works for you. But please, I'm imploring you, don't put things on credit on a constant basis, because one day you look at your credit card bill and you are like, oh my God, what's happened here? I know, I've done it before in my life when I was younger, and it never ended well. And also, you know, just try to budget things like say okay I'm gonna save for a couple of months and I'm gonna have X amount of money and I'm gonna go buy this and that and then I'm gonna leave feeling like feeling like a boss because I actually own the stuff and I'm not paying interest on it over time and it's gonna cost me two times more so that's my tip of the day at the lovely South Coast Plaza everybody likes to shop I know so I'm just trying to give you some tips on how to shop 
without bringing the whole house down. So instant gratification is a great idea. Everyone likes it, but then about two minutes later or when you leave, you immediately have buyer's remorse and you're like, oh my God, why did I do that? That's it from the Fiscal Feminist here in South Coast Plaza and catch you on the flip side.